Shanti, I have a question about dealing with difficult family members when your response to them is one of anger. Yes, okay. So, we are working on ourselves. That's the fundamental thing. Everyone come in our life as husband, wife, children, friends, employee, employer. They are only for us to work on ourselves. If situation is very smooth, we don't learn the spiritual lesson. So when trying situation comes, awakens us. So in general, everyone remembers God in the time of hardships. Hardly anyone remembers God when there is happiness and good things. So really, if happiness was surrounding us all the time, we will never learn spiritual lesson. So we don't look for hardship, but hardship come in life, take them as challenge to awaken. More hardships means more weight to build the muscles, something like that. So we are working on ourselves because other person becomes like a mirror for us to work on ourselves. Outsiders don't become mirror because then we are not connected closely. But family member, you are closely connected. You are attached to them. You expect from them. And this is why it creates conflict. But this is the situation to work on ourselves. Other thing is, when we get angry or upset, that is the very harmful things. There are two ways. You are angry and you hold within. That is very dangerous because it could result into many physiological and psychological problem. If you express it, then it creates conflict because whatever words you say, once you say it, cannot be taken out. Once the arrow leaves the bow, you cannot pull it back. When the gun is shot, <laughs> it's too late. So this is why we have to be very careful. So we should not have anger, hidden anger or expressing anger, instead of acting, instead of reacting. In quiet mood, when other party is in quiet mood, sitting, communicating, talking, and giving your view and compassion. That way, there will be more resolution of any problem. But even otherwise, even while not talking, always think about thoughts of loving them, forgiving them, and then let it come into action. But most people rely on speech and action, and that creates a problem. So the best thing, if two parties have problem and they want to resolve it, they should hold hands, look at each other's eyes, breathe, meditate, and send the feeling of love. So I have done lots of consultation that husband and wife, they established connection. Then instead of looking at the opposite sides, all the faults, look at good sides and write down. <laughs> and both sides write good things about each other. And it changes the whole picture. This is what happens before getting married. <laughs> they look at good side of each other and they forget it. So it's just re-establishing. Like, a, look at each situation like a fresh situation. Like you are, this is the first day of your marriage. Look at the person like as if you are looking at them at first time. Look at the plant in the room like you are looking at the first time. So this is uh, looking with freshness. So we don't hang on to he did, she did or any kind of past memories. This is where most people get caught, nations get caught, and even being visionary applies to at national level. They are impulsive, you know. It's impulsive, always harmful, because you don't see overall picture and it disturbs the overall flow. This is why collective meditation is good. And this is why right now election things happening. 
and we see all the candidates, they are on wrong track, criticizing each other, push, pushing each other down, and greed, it's just so much greed, just all politicians, they have no compassion, no love, and politicians are nothing but reflection of society overall, mm. you know, so we need on an individual level and group level, meditation, compassion and love instead of my party, your party. See, my family, your family, my town, your town, my country, your country. Instead of saying, God bless America, you should say, God bless entire globe, God bless entire creation of the universe. Thank you.